Hey guys, it's Knives and Stuff with a review of the Benchmade 551 Griptilian. Now, this is a very special Griptilian because I went online to Benchmade's website and I got to make my own. And you're going to see that very shortly, but first let's look at the packaging. Now this is Benchmade's blue class, so when you open it up, the foam is, foam is blue. They have three different classes as of right now, and those are a black class, which is more of the tactical looking knives. And then they have the gold class, which is the high quality, really cool, thousand dollar knives, which I will never be able to afford. But they're there in case you guys want them. So this is a blue class knife, the Benchmade 551. Griptilian. Comes in a little baggy, really, really nice microfiber cloth bag, which actually cleans the blade quite nice. And when you first see it, purple on this side, black on this side. Batman on the blade, do I really look like a guy with a plan? From the Dark Knight, when Joker is dressed up as the nurse. I just love that movie. I love Batman. I love everything about Batman. He's my favorite superhero. And now I've just been rambling on, so let's get to the blade. Got my ruler meter stick thing here. Three and a half inch blade. Axis lock, by the way. Smooth. I just can't stop playing with this thing. Really, I can't stop. Let me get back in the camera. That's how smooth it is. Even when it's open, that smooth. No play. Amazing. And now let me get my TI-3. So we could look inside. Don't know if you could see it, but there are liners in there. Under the FRN. But it's kind of like a small eye shape with the dot where it comes up to here the liner comes out to have some jimping and then the phosphor bronze washer in there phosphor bronze bushing which just provides extra speed they're actually pretty thick washers in there if you could see it and I love it normally FRN people think it's cheap but this is not cheap FRN I mean you could beat on this it's not gonna do anything I also opted for the split arrow clip now, this is a little bit more expensive than the normal Griptilian that you could find on Amazon or preferably at Blade Retailers. Like, I got some good ones by me. I'll mention them on my Twitter. Follow me at KnifeGuy96. But back to the knife. People, Benchmade and Spyderco often look similar to me. Not in a bad way. They, like, when you copy other people's ideas, it can turn out for the better. Like... Spyderco, just to give you an example, the Manix 2 has the cage ball bearing lock, which is not as smooth as the Axis, but it's kind of the same principle, except there's a ball bearing in here moving into the part of the tang to keep the blade open. And on here, it's a bar that moves out of the way to get the blade out. Also, the FRN, I've actually called this, I've heard this called a rich man's Endura. But you can see there are a lot of differences. Even though the Benchmade 550, the Griptilian with the sheep's foot blade, has a spider hole opener right there instead of a thumb stud. But I opted for the drop point, even though I do love Spyderco. Love them with all my heart. Love Spyderco. Love Benchmade. Kershaw. Great companies. But there's nothing bad I could say about this knife. You could choose everything about it the color of the axis, the color of the pins, even the blade steel. Now, the normal Griptilian has a 154cm blade, which, it's nice, but I wanted to go the extra mile. You could also get D2 tool steel, which is a little bit more corrosive, but it's a lot harder. S30V is as high as you could go. Great steel. But S30V, I see it all the time. So I opted for, don't know if you can see it right there on the blade, N680, high corrosive resistance. Now I got that specifically because I like to go in the water and I am I slack on knife maintenance sometimes. So I want a knife that could be have the crap beaten out of it but still look great like this. The edge that it took on there is phenomenal. The edge that it actually came with wasn't too spectacular, but I spent a little time on the Spyderco Sharp Maker and Probably the sharpest knife I own, really. 
and it only comes in at about, let's get the Weight Watcher scale, 3.8 ounces. That's fantastic compared to 3.2 ounces. It's a little heavier actually, but really you don't feel it. It carries so well in the pocket. That split arrow clip that I got added on there, normal ones come with just a flat plane clip, but I was going extra on this really grippy in the hand too. The jimping up here that comes from the liner really helps out. Gives you a solid purchase on that blade. And there's nothing bad I could say about this knife. Really, I've been carrying it for a few days now. And I'm just in love with it. I can't stop playing with it. So now I'm going to take it out for a few more tests. So let's see how it does. Most likely the Benchmade Griptilian is going to be your EDC knife. So a few of those things EDC knives have to cut through are the time-tested paper, which, as you can see, it does, and cardboard. Literally, no effort. But a more annoying thing an EDC knife has to face is clamshell packaging. Now, I don't have any clamshell packaging right now. But I have a soda bottle, I'm just going to go. And as you can see, Benchmade does a really good job when they put the words and pictures and whatever that you put on your custom blades. Because it's not coming off at all, and I've been abusing this thing. And there's no sign that it's going to scratch off ever. I mean, there's that little thing on there, but now it's gone. I mean, great job Benchmade. Bravo. The one downside though is you have to pay retail price on the blade. These cost a little bit extra. The steel costs a little bit extra. But in my opinion, you want a knife that's not going to fail you when you need it most. And that's what I have right here. I have a Benchmade. Not a knife. It's not a knife. It's a Benchmade. That sounds cheesy. Probably shouldn't have said it that way. But it's true. Benchmade, spider coat. You buy a knife from a gas station, like a little cheapo knife, it's going to rust, it's going to break. You buy something like this, you're going to be able to pass it down to your kids. And that's what I plan to do one day. Because this right now is probably the greatest blade I've ever owned. Griptilian, Mel Perdue designed, made in America, they make it over in Oregon. And just that access lock, I can't stop playing with it. Great for the reverse grip. Has jimping up here too. And it wins the award for the least cheap feeling FRN. I definitely got my money's worth. And I think you should go try out that creator. It's like Build-A-Bear for knives. So please like and comment down below. I'm going to put a link to my Twitter in the description. And please follow me there. I'd love to hear your comments, and I'd love to hear any suggestions for future videos. So, just thanks for watching. Have a great day.